A newly discovered element may have no immediate use, but that can change over time. Americium, for example, was discovered during the Manhattan Project years. Useless then, according to nuclear engineer Julie Isold, it later found its way into millions of homes. The thing to remember was back in the 19, late 1940s, early 1950s, when Glenn Seaborg was discovering new elements, they discovered americium. And the first isotopes of americium were very short-lived, and they didn't know what to do with them. But do you have a smoke detector in your house? If you open up your smoke detector, if it's an older style, you'll see a silver disc in there, and it will have the stamping on it and the radioactive tree foil. So it uses americium-241, a unique isotope of the americium, that gives off alpha particles. And the way your smoke detector works is that that americium is always giving off these little alpha particles that can't travel very far, can't even travel through your skin. And the detector is so close that it's always seeing them. And as long as the detector can always see those alpha particles, it says the air is clear. It's all good. But as soon as smoke gets in the way, the alpha particles can't go through it. And that's why it alarms. But that's also why it alarms when it's in your bathroom and the steam comes out. The alpha particles can't get through the water molecules. So that's why you're always there fanning it. That's why, it's to clear the air so that the, the detector can see the alpha particles from the americium source. So we don't know where this can go in the future. If we can make these new elements, isotopes of these new elements that would last longer, we don't know what they could do. That's the exciting part.